great program ahead for today. This is the fifth official, sixth unofficial National Knowledge Management <coughs> Conference. My name is Mark Chun. I'm part of the, uh, the planning committee for this conference. Uh, we wanted to welcome everybody, and we're excited to uh, host four speakers today. And I'll get to the speaker presentation uh, soon. The topic of this year's conference is social networking technologies and knowledge management. What's coming out of Pandora's box? There's a lot of controversy whether or not companies should or should not use uh, social networking within corporations. And we're here to discuss that uh, issue today. To start off the conference, I'd like to welcome the Dean of the Business School here at Pepperdine University, the Grazia Dia School of Business and Management. Uh, dean Linda Livingstone is the first woman dean to be uh, leading the business school, and she joined the school in 2002. She oversaw over $200 million expansion of this site that we have here. So a few years before that, we used to be in trailers uh, as temporary housing, but she, built this, she helped to build this beautiful uh, complex. She's also um, helped to establish 30 different partnerships around the world for international programs. And she has also helped to establish our school's E2B, um, Education to Business program. She is a graduate from Oklahoma State University. And you will find that she is a former collegiate basketball player. And most recently, a, can I say pro beach volleyball player? Are <laughs> you looking so? Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. He's referencing volleyball because we had a charity volleyball tournament Saturday down at Will Rogers State Beach with uh, one of our student groups. And uh, I am definitely not a volleyball player, but my husband and daughter and I were on a team. And we made the semifinals until we had to play one of our teams that had one of our first year MBA students here in Malibu who played professionally in Spain before coming to our MBA program. So it was a short, a very short semifinal match, I must say. <laughs> But I just want to welcome you and let you know how thrilled we are to have you here at Pepperdine and on the Malibu campus and certainly as a part of the Knowledge Management Conference and especially want to thank Dr. Chun for his leadership of this. He started this several years ago in partnership with some of you here and it's really growing into a wonderful conference with a lot of national recognition and, and really outstanding speakers as you will see later on. But I just want you to know how important it is for us at Pepperdine to do activities like this. We were actually founded as a business school because the business community came to Pepperdine and said we need a business school that will partner with us to provide education for our employees while they're working. Nobody in Southern California back at that time was really doing that. And so we actually developed and evolved as a business school uh, by partnering with the business community and providing educational and learning experiences that met their particular needs, whether that was our part-time MBA programs, our executive programs, we have a bachelor's completion program, we have four regional campuses around Los Angeles, uh, all the way down to Orange County that help meet that need. And so this type of event is just the perfect uh, partnership as well as we do other things beyond our more formal uh, degree programs to connect and partner with the business community. And this year for the first time, we are actually hosting this under the umbrella of our newly uh, initiated Center for Applied Research that Dr. Chun is uh, the director for. We rolled that out this year as part of our strategic plan that we're calling Distinctive Leadership 2015. And for us, as a business school, we talk about the connection we have with the business community. And so we wanted, as we think about the research we do as an institution, the work our faculty do, to ensure that it was very connected with business and was actually meeting the needs of you as business leaders on a regular basis. And so our center for research has a very applied focus. And this event today is a way to partner together the academic community and the business community and think about how we do our work together better that helps you to be better business people and better build better businesses and helps us to think about how we ensure that the learning experiences we're providing our students are of the highest quality and are really meeting your needs as we graduate students. Kind of parallel to our Center for Applied Research, we also rolled out this uh, last year as part of our strategic plan, a Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence. Uh, because we believe very deeply in the learning experience for our students and believe that partnering the applied research we do with the learning experience <clears throat> that we believe needs to be designed in a particular way for working professionals and executives 
that those two centers together are really anchors for who we are and what we think is important in regards to the learning experience. I want to mention just a couple of other things that we're doing in partnership with the business community that I think are really important and are, again, inherent in who we are. Um, we have, uh, Mark mentioned our education to business program, E2B, that's a life case consulting program. Uh, we do projects with companies for semesters at a time where students in a class are working on a strategic issue for the company and the entire class is divided into four or five teams and work on that issue for an entire semester. We do probably 15 or so projects a semester. We have done well over a hundred projects with companies. Probably some of your companies in this room today have done projects with us. But it's a great partnership where students are taking the academic content they're learning in class, they're applying it to real business problems in real time and actually adding value to the company as they do it in real time. And so we feel that's kind of the perfect model for learning. And we do that in a very robust way across our fully employed part-time MBA program and our full-time MBA program. We also have, and this is actually uh, under the umbrella of our Center for Applied Research, a, a research project going on right now by one of our finance faculty, Dr. John Pagley, who's got a private capital market study that he's been doing for the last couple of years. And it's really uh, looking more in more depth at the private funding that goes on with private companies. There's a lot of data and information on publicly held companies, but not a lot about how privately held companies are financed. And we're getting a lot of national recognition for this. Um, and it's really helping that business community in really important ways, uh, while also being a great resource for our students in our educational programs. And then we're partnering with companies uh, with on-site MBA programs with executive education and so on. So very much of what we do here in the business school is about the partnerships we have with you and your companies uh, and with the business community. And so we just really look forward to you being a part of uh, the experience today and contributing to that uh, learning both for us and for you. And know that what you get from this is going to be really valuable. It will also be very valuable to us as we take it back to our faculty and to the classroom. So I want to thank Dr. Chun for his leadership of this. And uh, thank you all for being here and wish you the best today as you uh, really dialogue together on some important issues and how to help all of us get better at what we're doing. So thank you.